But first, we've got to finish this race, and Ryan Reed is in the spot to do it. Overtime, two-lap shootout once again. He gets a great push from Spencer Gallagher, but the lanes are tied up. They're even. A little stronger on the bottom. Tyler Reddick has got the run now to take the lead. Reddick getting a good shove in that lower lane. Going to take over the lead as they go through turns one Oh, and look two. at that run Gallagher has into the back of Truex. He's getting pounded from Chastain. Oh, around he goes. Oh, wow. This is already the longest race. We'll see if NASCAR throws a yellow. Yes, they do. They've been consistent today. Yellow's out. As soon as the car spins, the flag flies and... Unfortunately, Spencer Gallagher did a perfect job on the restart, got to the bottom, was given a good push, and they just got all tangled up. Gonna have overtime number three. How concerned are these guys about fuel now, Larry? Yeah, I mean, Adam, even if we go to lap 133, that's 50 laps since most of these guys pitted like Tyler Reddick and like Kaz Grala. But we, right now, we have run 30 caution laps and, and, you know, I go back to the old theory of my days. It was two to one, but Brad knows this as good as anyone. It's a lot greater than that, cautions the green, because they're shutting the car off. I can't make myself believe they had that 18 car full of fuel. He should not have run out. Okay, so when, when you look at the drivers up front, there's only a couple of them that made their last pit stop at lap 83, Tyler Reddick and Kaz Grala. Other guys came after lap 100. They should be good to go. Here's a replay that brings out the caution. This is a, a little bit of Newton's cradle here where you get three or four cars hitting each other. The energy just makes it really hard for the middle. And of course, the end guy gets the biggest run here. He's gonna use that to make a pass for the lead, but the guy in the middle, He's in a lot of trouble, gets and, turned around here by Ross Chastain. You know, Ross and, and, and Spencer both did a great job of putting themselves in a position to have the speed, the momentum to push to the lead. You've got the push, you've got the push. Outside, outside the push, clear up, clear up, clear up, clear up. They were doing the job they were supposed to do. You, and you see it Keep worked, coming. it gave him the energy he needed to get by Tyler Reddick and take the lead as this yellow comes out. I really thought Ryan Reed was in the spot to win this race. And, and let's review that really quick. What happened here is the 18 ran out of fuel after they were already double filed. That means the 16 was stuck in the outside lane on this restart, did not have the help he needed. If he could have relined up on the bottom, he had a better shot at being able to retain the lead. He wasn't able to do that.